Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. Uh, there's been a couple of questions and whatnot about the knives that I normally carry. So, that's what this video is all about. The knives that I carry. Um, we're going to start off with this one. This is a gentleman's carry. Uh, folding, assisted opening. Uh, it comes from Amazon. It runs about $7.50. I've been carrying it for... what? I looked it up yesterday. I bought it in February of 17. So, it's been well over a year. And I've bought a few others and tried to replace it. And some of the other knives... I've got a box, a box and a half of knives. And... Uh, this one keeps coming back and going back in my pocket. I like the way it opens and closes. It holds a nice edge. For $7 and... I think it was $7.50. Um, I can't... I, I can't beat it. If I, if I break it, it's $7.50 to replace it. If I lose it, it's $7.50 to replace it. It's called Attack Force. Now, I'm not like a lot of these people on the internet that can go, oh, well, this is made out of you know, uh, unobtainium type steel and it was forged by John Snyder and, you know, um, you know, all that type stuff. I don't really care. I got a knife. This knife works. $7.50. And I like the look of it. So there's that. This one I just showed. I just got this one. It has two different blades in it. It is not a. It is not a uh, automatic knife. I bought it primarily because it's got this blade. I just like the look of that blade. If it had only had that blade, I would have been even happier. This blade kind of looks like something out of um, Nightmare Before Christmas or one of those type things but yeah this one this was under five dollars I believe fairly certain um, it, it you know it's still up in the air I just started carrying that one this one this is a Walmart camping area special runs around six dollars I guess I've actually got a couple of these uh, I kind of like the look it's a nice sized knife it, it is a locking blade it's not an automatic blade but it opens fairly easily and again I've, I've been carrying this one off and on for a while and I have a couple others in some of my grab bags just because it is a fairly decent knife for the price. It holds an edge and it will do whatever you need it to do if you're out, you know, out, um, well, within reason. You're not going to cut down a tree with it. But you can feather stick it or, you know, cut your, cut up a steak or skin a squirrel or, you know, whatever needs to be done. It, it will... It will handle it. This blade needs to be cleaned up. But anyway, I, I was carrying this for the longest time as a secondary and just recently stopped. I put it up on my dresser when I changed out my pants. This is one of the other knives that, that frequently gets dropped into my pocket as a secondary. This is an Uncle Henry. This came in a set from Stephen Smith. Limited edition, 2007. Uh, I believe there were four knives in the set, maybe three. I actually have a, a peanut that I carry. Um, but yeah, this this one this one is very nice. It holds a very nice edge. It's got the regular drop point, and then this one with the rounded edge, slightly rounded edge. It's kind of a modified point. Again. 
It's an Uncle Henry. I'm not sure what steel it is or anything else. It's just, it's a very nice knife. Like most of the knives that I get as gifts, I don't like carrying them on an everyday basis just in case I end up losing them. But if, it's, if I'm going out somewhere or it's a special occasion and I'm, you know, getting changed up or whatever, I'll often grab that and throw that in my pants pocket. As a backup backup, I've shown this kit before, but in here, along with the flashlight and cigarette lighter, I carry a small blade. This is not quite razor sharp, but it's pretty sharp. Again, this is an Uncle Henry, limited edition, 2017. It's just a very, it's a nice little blade. It's just, it's nice to have as a backup. Again, I would skin a snake with that. Fillet up a fish if I had to. There's a few other things in there. Like I said, my mini mag flashlight, a lighter. Uh, a bit extension, a couple of screwdriver bits. This just fits nicely in my pocket. So. There you go. I am out here. Let's see if I get this. Hang on a second. Ah, uh, there we go. Maybe. There we go. I am out here at the Grand Brat School getting ready to pick up the, the youngest, and then I'll be sitting here for a while waiting on the other two. But anyway, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is you all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to check me out on social media, that would be Fandoculus. If you'd like to share me around, that'd be Double Fandoculus. If you'd like to check me out on Facebook, I'll have a link in the description box, wherever that is on your device of choice. Um, I'll also add some links down there eventually when I get home. Uh, like I said, my Facebook and um, my Instagram, my email account, and uh, similar videos, whatever. <laughs> uh, September is Childhood, Aware Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, so just to throw that out there. Cancer is a insidious disease, folks, and I know I get, I get feedback from all of y'all about, you know, how it's interacted with y'all's lives. So I'm not telling y'all anything you don't know. Just be be aware. Get it checked out. You know, something doesn't feel right. Breast cancer is one of the more prominent cancers. Uh, at least it's one of the ones most, most uh, talked about. And it doesn't just affect women. It affects men, too. Um, and it, it does just affect the breast muscle or the breast tissue. It... it it gets into your lymph nodes, it gets into your armpit, into your groin, into your neck. So, if something doesn't feel right, just get it checked out, that's all. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook, let them know you think about them, let them know you love them. If you're strange, forgive, forget, apologize. Life's too short. I mean, when you think about it, it's, it's you know, whatever happened, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. You may not get another chance, so don't miss the time you can. Till I see y'all again, hope you have a fan day. Slotcha, y'all.